Can you see it? I saw it. <laughs> it's pretty high. <laughs> it is pretty high. <laughs> So about two years ago, we visited Colorado. We decided to do a road trip all around the state, but from everything we experienced, we just couldn't get enough of Durango in La Plata County. The reason to come here? To seek outdoor excitement and get a taste of the Wild West. So let us show you around. In this video, you'll see some of our favorite things to do while in Durango. A great way to start your day is by following a trail. For instance, Try the one along the Animus River, take in the serene environment, and even sharpen yeah. your stone skipping skills. I don't know how it's work. We're so bad. <laughs> Two. Or you can hike your way up to Fort Lewis College where you can get a great view. Check this out. Once you build an appetite, get your grub on. Try one of the many restaurants in town. For breakfast, we really enjoyed the College Drive Cafe. Lots of options to choose from. And then there's bread. Great if you're looking for a quick bite with great coffee and pastries. Also, the local co-op is a good option if you rather grab a few things for a picnic. You'll find great local products and fresh produce. Next, make sure to explore downtown. Durango's Main Street has lots of beautiful historic buildings that are worth checking out. And don't forget all the unique shops, galleries, and cafes. A good opportunity to polish those camera skills. Another great idea is taking the 19th century steam train. Get your tickets online or on location. It's quite the scenic experience. If trains are not your thing, hit road 550 in direction to Silverton. It's such a breathtaking view and there are a few spots you can stop along the way. One of our favorite stops is definitely Molas Pass. Elevation 10,970 feet. Hey, how cold are you? I'm pretty cold. It's like about 33 degrees up here. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of snow, a lot of wind. But it's a pretty cool view. Awesome, man. Can you see silver jump from here? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the town of Silverton. This old mining town is straight out of a western. It's a popular ski town during the winter and a lively tourism spot in summer. There's even a local gold mill to see firsthand how the miners were able to extract gold, silver, and base metals. It was closed the last time we were there, but maybe you'll have better luck. I got a friend here, a cowboy friend. <laughs> how are you liking this? I love it. It's very nostalgic. It's cold. On your way back, stop by Honeyville for a taste of the local honey. So good, we still buy it online. This shop is a must for foodies with lots of great local products, including local honey whiskey. Yes, good whiskey too. Speaking of things to try, make sure to check out one of the local breweries. We really enjoy going to Ska Brewery. It's a great way to relax after a day of sightseeing. And of course, our favorite thing to do around here is hands down visiting Mesa Verde National Park, 45 minutes west of Durango. It's known for its well-preserved ancestral Puebloan cliff dwellings, and if you're adventurous enough, you can have a chance to explore them closely. We're here, we gotta go back out, go down here, pay the $15 entrance fee, and take all this, whoa, it's really long. 45 minutes, you said. Bam, all the way down here. It's quite a drive from the entry point to the dwellings, but totally worth it. What makes Mesa Verde even more interesting is its mysterious history. 
Before the current Ute Indians settled here, the ancestral Puebloans used to live in the Four Corners area, the area where Utah, New Mexico, Arizona, and Colorado converge. They created this amazing civilization and after hundreds of years, they mysteriously vanished. The villages were never inhabited again. Anyways, we're required to give to you, the visiting public, a very thorough and informative safety message about what lies ahead, okay? So here it is. The tour is one hour long. We're going to spend all of that standing and moving. If you're physically fit and not afraid of heights, definitely take the Balcony House guided tour. It's the most adventurous cliff dwelling in the park. You'll have to crawl through a tight, dark tunnel, walk through ancient passageways, and climb a 32-foot entrance ladder. And on your way out, you'll climb the face of the cliff and another ladder to get to the top. Ready? Yeah, ready. Are you all with me? Side by side. That was super scary. Like really scary. My legs my legs were shaking. My legs were shaking too. I'm still shaking. I thought I was gonna quit. <laughs> okay, so we're waiting on the last few people to come up from the ladder. <clears throat> Towards the end of their occupation of this site, they decided to build a tunnel in that rock crevice where you have to crawl through. So was this a defensive feature or did it have other reasons? Holy crap. Ah. Are you tired? I'm Thanks. just trying to get down from my nervousness from you know, going up that which is scary. <laughs> Coming to Durango is always an adventure, and we just can't recommend it enough. Thank you so much for coming along, and if you've been here, let us know if you have any recommendations for viewers watching this video. See you in the next one! <laughs>